I don't know if anyone's keen to get out and take a photograph. <laughs> Now this isn't actually too bad in here today. You can get a lot worse than this when you get a really good sea running out here. You can have um, breakers from up to two miles offshore. It's not too bad, however, the big light behind us is going. Indication that the bar, the bar is becoming dangerous. Yep. Big light in front of us there. Advising any ships out there that the bar is in a fairly dangerous condition. Now, as you can see here, it's running at about three metres at the moment, looking at that. And it can very quickly come away to four, five, even six metres. And um, it gets pretty nasty here when that happens. The it's actually, there's two of them, they're about half a mile offshore. So when you have along here, there's a very strong current coming from south to north. And what it does is bring the gravel down with that current and it's coming from the glaciers. So when it hits the river current coming out, it causes the gravel to seal and form these two bars. Now, even on a big spring slide, you're only looking at about 70 feet of water over those bars. So, if you get a bit of a sea roll, you may hit that shallow water and it breaks. So, because of the history and the nature of the bar here, we do have a lifeboat station right now. This here is a monument to some of the fishermen that have been lost here during the harbour. Well, certainly not all of them have uh, got barks down there, but a number of them have. And it's just somewhere where the families can go and they can put a bark and a bit of closure because quite often the fishing boat rolls over here, the crew will get washed out in the wheelhouse and we'll not see again. And, uh, somewhere where the families can come. And, uh, Lifeboat we've got based in Greymouth is an ex-RNLI vessel. Base called Dungeon S. It's fairly old, it's about 30 years old. It's really slow. It's a self-righting vessel. It's a lot of This was intact this morning and I'm filming from my window. Yeah. I mean, so, it wasn't really a big one, but... Uh, it's not a massive one, I mean... 
you guys I ain't filming miles compared to other stuff. But it's hit that house. You can see that it's hit that yeah, house and it's hit those power lines. Bit of a mess. We're very unlucky whoever was down here. It's gone right down there, look. But I think it went off after us. It's gone over that it's gone over the hill, I think. I'll pack my car at your whip. It shouldn't be um, in the way. No, don't worry, I'll be making work. You're not a single person in the wheel. Yeah, no, I'm not my favorite. I've got no power for the building. Definitely. Now, if I... I can't believe it. It's a bit bigger than I thought it was. Yeah, it wasn't really big, but pretty strong. It didn't look big. I mean, if it hit the... Also, There's me know. kind of looking at it going, oh yeah, it's an earthquake. It's a, oh, why was it an earthquake? It's a tornado. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to kind of hide now, you know. Was a bus. Are the buses over there? Uh, yeah, I don't think the buses anymore. Right. And the video easy got it. Over there. You can see it. The power line, and then up above when you oh, see, yeah, the yeah, yeah, you yeah. see that. Maybe we should take a photo too. It's pretty, yeah, well. pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, it is definitely. So I've never been anywhere that's had any damage.